Hi, welcome to Desi Plaza. This is Madhav. So today I do have Karthik Neemani with me, who is the Scripps National Spelling Champion, uh, who won the championship trophy. So, hi, Karthik, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. First of all, congrats. And uh, how do you, how how does it feel uh, being a champion? Uh, it feels good. It feels good. So, have you? Where have you put the trophy? Last time when I heard it, you put it the trophy. You want to put the trophy in your room. So have you shifted it from your room to family room, or it's still in your room? Uh, it's in front of my fireplace because we were too lazy to move it. <laughs> too lazy to move it. So, Kadik, can you just tell me about your a bit about yourself and your family? Uh, I live with my mom and my dad, and along with my younger brother. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, so my dad, like during spelling bee, he used to help me a lot, and my mom would help like carve out the time to for my dad to help me with spelling by like doing the household work. Okay, yeah. So, so your dad is your inspiration behind. Yeah. Good. So I mean, like, and if I'm not wrong, you're 14 years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, which which grade are you in? I'm going to ninth grade. Ninth grade. So. You're not homeschooling, right? Mm -mm. So what school do you represent? Uh, I go to. I went to Scoggins Middle School in McKinney, but now I'm gonna go to Independence High School in Frisco. And after you won this trophy, so how many calls, approximately, how many calls did you get from your relatives and friends? <laughs> Countless. A lot. A lot. Uh, how was how was your uh, how was their reaction? Uh, I mean, they were very happy for me. Mm -hmm. So. After spelling week, this is your summer break if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So have you gone for a vacation, relaxed, left your studies back? Uh, I haven't gone for a vacation, but... Any any plans to go in the future? Uh, I might go to my cousin's place. Cousin's place. So when, uh, I mean, when did you actually start the, for the spelling bee in your life? And when was the first time that uh, you thought you had interest and you made a move towards the spelling bee? Uh, I used to construct words with like letter magnets and so my parents found that I had a, like an like a interest for that. So I attended my first spelling bee when I was four and I continued from there. Okay, so it was uh, who, who, I mean, it was your mom or dad who, who identified it? I don't know which one, but one of them did, or maybe both of them. So, I mean, like, winning the title, it's a dream come true? Yeah. After this, what's, what's your future dream? What, what, what is your ambition to become? Uh, I don't have anything, like, for sure yet, but I'm looking to go into the STEM field. Okay. So, okay, that's good. That's good, man. So, after winning the Spelling Bee Championship, right? So, what's the difference in Karthik, in yourself, in yourself that you see before winning and after winning? Uh, I, like before winning, like I had, I worked harder, but now after winning, I became like lazier and just like uh -huh. slacking off nowadays. So what's your confidence level? It grew up? Yeah. And when people receive you, I mean like, you, you have that, um, what you say, we call it, uh, the pride. So when you go anywhere, you have that pride within you. No. <laughs> okay. And and if I'm not wrong, you you won around forty thousand uh, prize yeah. money, right? So what did you just give the check to your parents and ask them to save mm -hmm. it, or any any? What's well, your I'm future gonna, plan? I'm gonna save it for college. Save it for your college. Yeah. Good man. So when you prepared for this spell B, uh, how do you, how do you actually prepare for it? Uh, I would type up words in like mm -hmm. spreadsheets and stuff and so that would help me a lot in like where I am right now. And how, how did, uh, and if I'm not wrong, you are, you also did a course from Geospell Academy, right? So yeah, how did, I used uh, their, I used their products. So they, they really helped because they had like a ton of really good words that came up in the bees. Okay. And, and other than uh, the, 
G Academy. Is there anything else? Other other references? What all references do you follow? Uh, I use like my dad's list, and I used another like like program to help me. So it, the program was written by your dad, or no? It was written by someone else. Okay, so your your dad uh, he collects all of those and keeps the material for you to refer. Yeah, he helped. He also created like a program for me to study with. Okay, so he created a program with all the existing and in addition to the other courses that yeah. you do, you also go. That's that's a good man. That's a good one. So, <clears throat> and how many hours do you practice? Uh, on weekdays, I do like three to four hours and. Weekends, I do six to seven. And when you practice, is it like you stand in front of a, the mirror and then how, how does it work? You just click on a audio recording and you look in, uh, into a mirror and then tell the spelling or how does it? So I use like Merriam-Webster diacritics and I read that and then I will quiz myself and type the word. And then the ones I have missed, I would, I would like review them until I could get I tried to get to zero, but I didn't get that far. But I get, I got, I got to like a good like level, so that I could do well. Okay. So and when when you say so, when you say you have joined a course, or uh, how does the course work? Is it like, does it have any levels? It, you start with zero level, then easy, hard, medium, or how does it? Uh, it's just I didn't really do the I didn't do like their coaching, but I. Uh, used like their books and they, their words are like they're kind of vary in difficulty but they're not like they don't really have easy hard medium they're just like kind of random so but that still helped because like if if it's just only difficult you can like overcomplicate a pretty simple word and so if it's just random you can just use your patterns if you don't know the word and then spell it and when you said the first time that you attended was at four years, right? So it would be which year? 2008. 2008. Wow, man. And which was the first competition that you attended? Uh, it was some spelling bee that my mom's old employer held. Mm -hmm. So I attended that. And before uh, this, uh, you being a champion on a whole, do you remember how many uh, spelling bee championships you have attended? Uh, I did I did North South Foundation and also the South Asian Spelling Bee, as well as some other like minor bees. Mm -hmm. And before winning this, there's a story which is uh, there's a story behind you winning the trophy, right? So can you just share that story to us? So, so in my like local bee, mm -hmm. me and Nesa Modi, who got second in the bee, uh -huh. we like we it was down to us two in mm -hmm. the county spelling bee and so we went like back and forth for like 20 22 rounds and i ended up losing that but scripts uh introduced a new program this year that would give like children who didn't like win when their regional bee they could still go to nationals via an application process so i applied and i got into like i got invited to the bee and so yeah that's how it so how does it feel when you, I mean, like, again, you defeated uh, your competitor? She was a tough competitor, right, when you saw over there. So how does it feel when you defeated her? I mean, like, initially you got, um, it was like you lost, and then finally, somehow, after your hard work, you defeated her. So how do you, how do you feel that? I mean, it really makes no difference on who I beat, because in the end, it's all against the dictionary, and, like, they're, they're come your competitors. They're just competitors. You just, you should like I like talked to them and made friends with them, so we were all kind of in it together. But and we all had like one goal, and not where it wasn't to like defeat one another. Trust me, you know. To be frank enough, the the answer you gave, you know, I never expected from a fourteen years old kid to give me this answer. I mean, like uh, who all the people. I mean, last time it was one of a spelling bee champion. Um, whom I interviewed, the answers you guys give, you no, know, they are all mind blowing, you know, because you guys are already winner when you have reached that stage, and uh, then if someone asks, like me, ask this question, the way you responded was really good, man. That's that's a good uh, note I can say. So that winning word, you'll never forget that winning word, right? 
Probably not. Never. Because, and, 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 and I saw your uh, interview, I mean, like, the winning moments, wherein the moment the, um, the anchor, he actually asked, the, he spelled it, and without any hesitation, you, you spelled it. So it was like you already learned, I mean, you read it or learned it when you were practicing. Uh, I asked my questions, but I knew the word, like, one, like immediately. Oh, then I missed so something. I, ju I asked my questions just because, mm -hmm. like, that's what I always do to make sure that's the word, and also to buy some time. Okay, and 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 when I, I still remember uh, the the, the runner-up was Nasia. What was her name? Nesa Modi. Nesa Modi. So, when when she was actually spelling, you I saw you nodding your head. So you you knew that she she spelled it wrong, or? Yeah, I studied that word before. Oh, you studied. You already studied. Good man, that's really good. So after spelling bee, what's your next goal? Do you have any? Because once if you be a champion again you're not allowed to participate in the scripts right yeah this was my last year anyway so i had to give it all i could uh-huh so what what next uh any I'm, future plans i'm playing tennis right now and i guess i'll focus on that in school okay so you want to be a champion in tennis yeah. just like federer yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good one man so finally before we end this uh, interview so do you have any tips that you want to share with our audience so that uh, the future guys can get uh, out of it? Uh, you just, if you have an interest in spelling, you and your parents, you, they should, your parents should really support you when you're, when like you're studying. You really need to put hard work and there's no exception to it, but try to work efficiently as well so that you can maximize your time for learning words. And, and and I, I wanted to uh, ask you one more thing, man. You, your style, unique unique style of uh, putting your hands in your pocket, tucking it in. So, <laughs> it was it's your uh, from your father, or was it is it inspired from anyone? It's just an instinct <laughs> that I get. I don't know why. Uh, nice talking to you, Karthik. All the best for your future, mm -hmm. and it's really a pleasure having you here, man. Mm -hmm. So. Viewers, that's it uh, from Desi Plaza Studio. Next time, I'll be again with you guys with one more champion. Till then, signing off, Madhav.